love this place. Amen. Amen. And I wouldn't want to go out and do anything else. No. I've got enough years on me now to ease back a little bit. But almost 62 years ago I came to this county by way of the hospital over here. <laughs> this is my place. <laughs> 24 years ago, I came through these doors. Yes, you did. My, my, my. My, If this was that day, it's hard, kind of hard to figure out. But, but it certainly uh, made a change in my life. Absolutely, brother. And, uh, you know, you grow to your surroundings. Yes, you do. Yes, I did. Yes. I grew just like the growing wood out there. Yes. Now I've grown to my surroundings again. Didn't know much about anything when it comes to being around a ministry. And, uh, but I wanted to know about it, so I went and did some studies. And, and uh, Oh my goodness, this is so good. So wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And you have to search for words because I don't really have anything planned out. I know the scriptures say you have to continue in the calling in which you're called. And I was called from the countryside out there east of town. Where I was raised up. I'm still out there. I'm in a little different location, but I got up and fed the chickens about 7:30. Well, praise morning. God. But I've been doing that ever since I've been here. My goodness. And I, I was transportation with the church, but I got up and did transportation now for people who needed transported this morning. Yesterday I was at Tampa General Hospital picking up a friend who needed to get home from the hospital. And that's what the ministry is about. Yes, sir, brother. Yes. But I, uh, and I didn't go to school, per se, like I did for 12 years to learn this. I learned how to do what I was doing out there before I came here. But now we grow, grow to your surroundings. You see, stay. I stayed here long enough. And I wouldn't let nobody run me away. All right. Oh, there you go. Especially me. Yes. That's right. I would have had me out of here. But I did. I'm going to want to study me some, too. I studied me. I studied what's underneath, underneath the, the thinker here, how that thing works. And there's books. You learn everything. A lot, so much you can learn through books. And at the same time I was studying me, it came over this place here that thoughts are conceived. You take a thought from, well, praise God. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like life. I think life's a pretty good opportunity now because in the book of Job, there was these two talking about Job. One of them was God and one was Satan. Right there in the second chapter. But God kind of said, Job, okay, take this man. Or he said, no, he said, Satan, take this man, Job, and do what you will. Just work him over or whatever. Save his life. Brother, I connected with that. Save his life. So I figured that uh, that could have been me. I could have been Job. Maybe I am Job. Mother always said you had the patience of Job. When I was little, I didn't know no thing about it. Good thing, Job. Yeah, no thing about it. Just Bible talk then. But in your patience, possess you your soul. There you go. Now, I never had that scripture. Brother Steve back here in the kitchen brought that one to me. Yes. Back in the beginning. Patience is really a, a wonderful tool. Yes. Because it's just. Uh, that's a good way to overcome the world. Amen. Yes. And to continue in the ways and the truth and the Word of God and the body of people that really come to be family. Amen. 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 